gave myself a chance. I got my license. I got exposed to showing homes and I said, wow, this is much more interactive with people. So it was kind of cool. Hey guys, how are you? This is Javier with Javier Hurtado Realty. Today we are welcoming Will and Veronica. And we're gonna make a video today talking about why did we get into real estate and what our why is and, and why did we choose the company that we work for right now. I guess, uh, you know, Will, how, uh, you know, how'd you come into real estate? Tell us about you. Uh, well, um, before I get into me, what, what ladies first? Uh, oh, thank she's you. actually been doing excuse it. Excuse me, excuse me. She, she's been doing it longer from, uh, longer than I have. So let's, let's start with Veronica. Thank you. Thank you, Javi, for having me oh, and for having welcome. us. Uh, we're excited. We love doing interviews. And well, the reason why I got into real estate was because I was just tired of the corporate world, um, not having enough room to grow. And I felt like I have more, much more, uh, potential of doing sales and stuff like that uh, right when I decided to get into real estate. I had kind of happened to stumble into real estate. I wasn't really a salesperson. I didn't consider myself a salesperson, but I gave myself a chance. I got my license and I started door knocking right off the bat. Um, I suck at it. I didn't get anything from it, but I learned uh, that if you work really hard in this business and if you hustle and you treat it as a business, that you could actually be very successful. So I've been doing it now for 10 years. I met my husband spent five years ago in real estate. Uh, we got married, had a baby, and now here we are uh, as part of the EXP family. Nice. That's a quick right. intro. Woo. Let's go. <laughs> And my name is Will again. Uh, I've been doing real estate for nine years and how I got into real estate. Uh, my, at the time, my partner, she was in real estate and she hated it, hated the industry. And I had some background in mortgages. So I helped her along the way and I got exposed to showing homes. And I said, well, this is much more interactive with people. I could go outside the office. I don't have to work with somebody just in the computer behind a desk and just typing away. And I loved it. I love the fact that I could go outside and my day just changes. It goes with client's day, right? So it was kind of cool. And at the same time, it was about the money. Because then I realized how much money you could actually make after helping somebody and impacting their, one of the biggest financial um, decisions that they have to make, right? So it was about um, getting out of the office number and then realizing how much money I could get into, um, I, I can make from, from real estate. That's how I got into real estate. Awesome guys, awesome. <laughs> and how do you guys think this impacted your lives? Like from not being in real estate and being in real estate, how did it impact you guys? Well, for me, it was um, it was the freedom. I, I wanted to just have the freedom of, if I wanna make a certain amount of money a year, it would be just based on my hard work. So seeing that part of it, it was a hard decision because when you're part of a corporation and when you work for somebody, you have kind of like a safety net, which real estate, a lot of people know that it's self-employed job, so you don't have a lot of promises nothing is really promised like you're always like expecting that next commission coming in so that was kind of like a really hard jump for me from coming from a corporate world but once I made that decision it was worth it it's been 10 years and I never 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 ever look back even in the years where I was like oh I'm not gonna close as many um, sales this year it still made so much sense because the sky is the limit it's impacted my life nice bit of nice how about Will? How about you, my man? So how how's the industry impacted me the most? How's it changed your changed life? Changed my life, right? Um, so uh, going through mortgages and then in 2008, when kind of the industry just collapsed and evaporated overnight, uh, it exposed me to another industry, totally different from, from mortgages. I went to work for the corporate world and I remember it was still sales, but I remember reaching like what I felt was the highest that I could go in that industry. And I was hitting a ceiling of like income wise. And I, I remember just thinking, I'm like, I could do much more than this, right? But it was just, I kept on hitting that ceiling. So I said, okay, I have to look into something else. And it was just like perfect because I realized um, just through researching that there is no limit on real estate. There's no ceiling. Your imagination is your ceiling, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then how, how did it impact me? Once I got exposed to the real estate, then I could realize, I realized that a lot of people build wealth through real estate. If you ask a lot of success, successful wealthy people out there, I bet you they're gonna say that they own a lot of real estate or, or some sort of real estate. Um, and then I met my wife too. <laughs> so through real estate, we, we connected there. So you meet a lot of awesome people like yourself and like-minded people and a lot of um, opportunities to build mm -hmm. wealth.
Thanks, Will. Thanks, Veto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the fact is, uh, all the wealthy, they own some sort of real estate. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, it's no uh, surprise as to why. It's it's how the wealth keep building wealth. Uh, it starts with real estate. So I'm very curious. Why did you guys choose to make EXP your home? There's uh, so many brokerages, mm -hmm. especially here in Massachusetts. Why did we choose EXP? EXP chose us. EXP chose us. <laughs> <laughs> it came to That's your good. mind. And said, well, <laughs> honestly, I, I, I wish we were part of EXP 10 years ago, not because of the obvious reasons why EXP is a good company, but because we would be much more wealthy today if we were uh, have chosen EXP a few years ago, but um, it was never too late. We became part of EXP a year ago, a year and a half ago, and it actually, it's a company that compensates the agents in a different way, a completely different model than any other companies out there. We've been with big companies in the past and eXp is just completely different. That's just one part of why we chose eXp. The other part of it was um, we wanted to surround ourselves with like-minded individuals, people who have done incredible things in real estate, their lives, everything surrounding the network. And it has impacted us in, the, in a way where we're now able and have access to people who have done a lot in, in their life time um, through real estate and they're part of the company. So it was a no brainer for us. I resisted a little bit coming to EXP because I, I didn't know any better. But once I made the decision, again, I never looked back and, and it has showed us in the last year and a half that it was the right decision. You don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And I think we've done real estate for so long that I think our ego kind of get in the way at certain points and, and we just <laughs> didn't look into this opportunity. Uh, we just uh, assumed that every company is the same because for the longest time it has been the same. Yeah, for the most part, I agree. Yeah. And it wasn't until we experienced some sort of pain within our business of, of losing uh, leverage that we had in our business that we were open to hearing about, okay, tell me about what I'm missing out on. Tony Robbins says, uh, success leaves clues. And we were just open at that time. We started seeing, making connections that a lot of our friends that are mentors of ours, that are very wealthy, that are very successful, were already at a cloud-based company. So before we even got into it, we just started analyzing like, okay, what is this opportunity? Let's look at it for what it is now. And the numbers, they don't lie. So when you start looking at financially, is this a better move for me? The numbers didn't lie. Right. So we took a leap of faith. We said, what's the worst that could happen? We could just always pivot. We could always start our own brokerage. Once we jumped in, then we saw, wow. Okay, like Veronica said, I wish we made this move 10 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. What would I, you start imagining what your life might look like if you had had made that move with the with the energy that we have here now um so that's that's what kind of just our journey through through exp right it's been a lot of fun because the collaboration like veronica talks about we would never have the chance to sit here and talk to javi yeah. right there's no chance on, because we would be looking at you as competition versus somebody that we could collaborate with, yep. grow with, sit down with and talk to you, to you about real estate ideas that we have out there. This has given us the opportunity to do that. And, and I just want to add too, for, for anybody who's watching this video, um, who is thinking about making a move, either EXP or any other company, it is very important for you to do your due diligence. What's exactly that you're looking for in the next move? Uh, because it's very easy to say, I'm comfortable with what I am, but until you actually look into your your business you won't be able to realize if you're leaving money on the table if you're not growing if you're not you know planning your next three to five years so it's very important to to actually do that homework before you actually make the decision to partner up with somebody stay curious That's good stay point. curious Open ask mind. a lot of Open questions minded. yeah Right? If you're not, um, they say the, the most wealthy people out there also are the ones that are most curious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. So another point, when I was first hearing about eXp, my biggest concern or my biggest holdup was like, oh man, everything's going to be online. Everything's going to be, I'm never going to meet people in, in person. I want to work with people. Well, thankfully, you know, these guys, I came across these guys uh, actually at an event. <laughs> so it's a really nice event. Uh, we went on the boat on the Charles River. It was a co-branded event, but these guys just, they, they really stood out to me and they were really special. I mean, the, the whole group they have together, like the family. So essentially what I want to ask now to these guys is like, what makes your team really special or our team now? Um, I'm mm -hmm. part of your team now. What, uh, what makes it special for you guys, you think? And how does it make it um, a family? How does a family keep growing here? Well, I think for us, was, what was really important when we came to EXP was to have that office environment, having that like collaboration, mm -hmm. like that growth together, just because I think William and I, we both work really well in that environment. So we wanted to, and we didn't know, honestly, we didn't know how big it was gonna grow and 
how quickly it was going to grow and how many great people were going to be part of this team. So um, starting with, we wanted collaboration in the right environment. But then after that, it came like we started adding people that are really adding value to others within the group. Like we just, you know, um, Javier, for example, he does YouTube, he does the social media. So that was something that we were lacking in our in our business. So he's adding to our business. Now we have Ray Reyes, who it's a social media Instagram guru. So he's adding to our business. Mm -hmm. Now we have people like Lise, who is an, an expert in Airbnbs, who's adding to our business and everybody within our, our, our team. So not, it's not only William and Veronica, it's also the people who make part of this group that makes it so special and, and so valuable. So so that's what we love about it. That's it. I mean, well, what else is there? <laughs> it's it's like-minded people getting together with the same goal in mind. We, we all want the same things. We all want um, freedom, right? <laughs> so we're, we're helping one another just get better at, every single day so that's why they say it's one big fire over here because we're all contributing to that fire and we're all growing together so i mean it's it's that simple there's no magic pill it's just we're all making this uh, a better experience for everybody awesome guys yeah and if we could tell the public here just in case you're a buyer or a seller you know what markets do you guys serve primarily here in massachusetts the we world everywhere the world. everywhere <laughs> <These guys. laughs> where, there, where, the, where there's motivation that's where you'll where, find yeah them. we'll fly there <laughs> All right, guys. Boston. So, so we, we do mostly Greater Boston, but like I say, we have a team of 44 agents. So mm -hmm. if you're looking to buy anywhere in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, even Rhode Island, Dallas, Texas, or Florida, we have an agent for you. But if we don't, we'll find the perfect agent that is going to help you buy or sell if it's not in Massachusetts. If it's in Massachusetts, give us a call, all three of us. Fantastic. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Javier. Nice hanging out. Nice hanging out. All thank right, you. guys. Peace out. Bye. Until next time. <laughs> See you, guys.